Hello Reds! Get set for your daily dose of Manchester United updates. Tune in for your daily Manchester United fix. Goals, transfers, and everything in between. Let's dive into the buzz surrounding Manchester United. Manchester United are beginning to formulate transfer plans for the summer window, with defense a key priority. This summer, every senior defender on Manchester United's books will be 30 or over, with the one exception being Lisandro Martinez, who has missed almost the entire season due to injury. It is becoming clear that center-back is a position which is a big priority, with names like Antonio Silva and Jean-Claire Todibo in the mix. Another emerging option is Everton center-back Gerard Branthwaite, who impressed supporters in United's win over the Toffees at Old Trafford this past weekend. Gerard Branthwaite transfer value, Gerard Branthwaite 21, is regarded as a future England international and has played a key role for Everton this season. The towering defender is now said to be high on Manchester United's transfer list, with the mirror claiming he is a priority target. The difference in valuation is a problem, with Everton looking for as much as $75 million, it is reported Manchester United will push to drive Branthwaite's price down towards $50 million. United have had some success with this lately. While $55 million looks excessive for Mason Mount now considering his injury problems, at the start of the summer, Chelsea wanted $80 million, TalkSport claimed. Everton are likely to have to make some kind of concession on price, as they are struggling with Financial Suisse, which has seen them. Incara points deduction this season. Branthwaite branded monster Premier League legend Ian Wright spoke highly of Jared Branthwaite last month, impressed by his performances. He told the Wrighty's House podcast, I believe now he will be in the next England squad. He has got everything. You watch how he plays, left-sided as well, he plays out well, very brave. And then when you listen to his interview, he sounds like somebody who is like, yeah, I'm there, I'm here. He should be called up. And not only that, he should be played. Let's have a look at him. I'm telling you, we have a monster on our hands at left-sided canter half. A monster. Branthwaite could flourish at Manchester United, but does need a reasonable price tag. Arriving as a 75 million won't help him, especially if he is not a regular starter right away. United won't be held to ransom by Everton either. Branthwaite will be A on a list of targets, and if no agreement can be found on price, the Red Devils will simply look elsewhere. Moving on. Why does Sir Jim Ratcliffe want a new Old Trafford for Manchester United? Old Trafford has been neglected by the Glazer family, and Sir Jim Ratcliffe wants a new Old Trafford. Standing in the Old Trafford press conference room in January, Sir Jim Ratcliffe was asked for his first impressions of the stadium. He declined to comment, but the body language was telling. Ratcliffe was more candid at the Ineos office in Knightsbridge two weeks ago. Old Trafford is run down and neglected in places. He opined knocking it down and rebuilding it is a no-brainer. United were established as Newton Heath, but they will be remaining in Trafford. The Manchester Evening News revealed last month the club could play games without having to move to another stadium, as the site footprint is large enough to accommodate building a new Old Trafford while safely hosting matches at their home since 1910. Ratcliffe believes a large amount of land United own around Old Trafford is underused and could be repurposed for housing, leisure, business and education to drive investment and jobs in the area. The Ineos chairman added, the museum is crap and the megastore is too small. United moved their club shop into the stadium in 2000 and it was the biggest in Europe at the time. Ratcliffe knows United have stood still on the Glazer family's watch. United maintain they have the capacity to arrange their own funding for a phased redevelopment of Old Trafford, but Ratcliffe is seeking financial support from funding partners. A club source stressed they are not looking for handouts, but mentioned opportunities for public-private partnership to drive a wider regeneration that extends to transport infrastructure. Ratcliffe met members of United fan groups shortly after his 27.7% stakeholding was confirmed on Christmas Eve, and he has held several rounds of meetings about Old Trafford. United will continue to consult fan and community leaders, as well as local residents. Duncan Drasdo, 
a member of the Fans Advisory Board and Chief Executive of the Manchester United Supporters Trust, and Tom Ross, the leader of Trafford Council, are both members of the task force. Please subscribe and turn on notification for more Manchester United updates. Donny van de Beek has failed to impress on loan at Eintracht Frankfurt, and the Bundesliga club are not expected to trigger their option to buy the Manchester United flop. Manchester United's Donny van de Beek is set to return to Old Trafford this summer after a disappointing loan spell at Eintracht Frankfurt. The Dutch midfielder, who was hoping to revive his career in Germany, has struggled to impress and has been left on the bench three times already. Frankfurt had an option to buy Van de Beek for 12.5 million plus add-ons, but they currently have no plans to do so. Despite playing 302 minutes of football in both attacking and central midfield positions, Van de Beek has failed to win over Frankfurt boss Dino Topmaller with his performances. After years on the bench at Man Utid and Everton, the 26-year-old is barely able to keep up with the intensity of the Bundesliga. His lack of rhythm is noticeable in every game. He is like a foreign body, timid and hesitant, and error-prone to boot. It will be tough for Van de Beek in the coming weeks, although head coach Dino Topmuller has not yet fully given up on him. Nevertheless, the question has to be asked. Why did Eintracht Frankfurt sign him in the first place? In total, Van de Beek has four starts, and two substitute appearances. Frankfurt clearly don't see him as a player capable of making an impact. The Dutch international only has one more year left on his contract with United when this season ends, and it's clear he doesn't have a future at Old Trafford. On that note, indications are now apparent that the midfielder won't be able to revive his fortunes at United under the guidance of ex-Ajax boss Eric Ten Hag. The Manchester United bosses bought the player for 34 Mielers back in 2020 after he shone under their current manager in Amsterdam, a time when he helped Ajax reach the Champions League semi-finals in 2019. Van de Beek talked to the press in November before his trip on loan. He said, I need to start playing games very soon. If not at Man United, then at another club. I think I have to be ambitious. Real Sociedad, Lorient, and Galatasaray were also interested in him in the winter. Meanwhile, Ahmad Diallo has removed all posts related to Manchester United from all of his social media accounts. The Ivorian winger linked back up with Manchester United in the summer of 2023 after a seriously successful loan spell at Sunderland. It looked as if Ahmad may have got a look in this season, but a bad injury kept him out for some time. He since returned, but has not been in favor for Eric Ten Hag at all. He's played just 63 minutes since his comeback. His actions on social media on Monday suggests he is feeling unhappy with his current role. This included changing his bio on his Twitter X account to Tutela Finira, which translates in English to This Will All End. Fans are speculating that it's down to the lack of game time, but this could really mean anything from the United winger. Ahmad is not the only player to delete everything United related to his account. Jadon Sancho did the same. Manchester United. The former England international deleted everything on his socials to do with the Red Devils after his infamous fallout with Ten Hag. To suggest that the same has happened here would be unfair at the moment. Right now. Very little is known about the Diallo situation. However, one thing is certain. Something is very wrong. We'll be following this story very closely as it develops, so keep checking back to United in Focus for more. Moving on.